I'm here with James Thompson to talk a little bit about storytelling, uh, risk taking, yeah. uh, and your approach to uh, uh, failure. Yeah. So first of all, storytelling. What, what, what are the essential parts of storytelling that you see, uh, uh, and what makes a good story? Uh, it's got to be true. Um, now, we had a great conversation uh, on the panel about truth in advertising. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're in, a, we're yeah. in the advertising industry, yeah. you're talking about truth. Yeah. Resolve. How do we resolve those two? There, there are always truths. There are truths in the stories about your brand, in the history, in how it's made, in something. Now, we can go mad. We can tell people lots of stuff that only we are interested in. And when we're too close to it, you, it's sometimes very hard to spot the thing that's interesting. And I say, is it authentic before will people like it? And sometimes I'm fine with people not liking it because I know that the people who do like it will like it a lot. And I think having a point of view, having authenticity, and then telling it in as entertaining or engaging way as you possibly can, that's really what our business is about. One thing you raised, I think, is a very interesting point, which is people are too close to something, yeah. uh, and they can't stand back and see the picture. They're right, talking about things that they are interested in. They're spend, living this brand 24-7. Yeah. They think this is a fascinating new thing, but will the world in general care? Yeah. How do you do that? How do you well, exactly. force people I mean, we have, have stand back? Well, I mean, we have, I mean, our, our Smirnoff vodka brand has got some amazing stories, right? So Vladimir Smirnoff, without whom this brand would not exist, um, was uh, sentenced to death five times and escaped the firing squad five times in 1917 revolutionary Russia. Now that is really interesting, but if you're a 25 year old about to go clubbing, that's not on your mind. So the right time for the right story. Um, to that same 25 year old, a bit later, that does give them a bit of depth and authenticity about the brand that they can talk with friends and like it then. So it's finding the right thing at the right time and making sure when you stand back, be a human being, don't be a brand manager here. You know, you, we all consume media, we all consume messages, whether they're political messages, advertising messages, anything. And respond as a human first before you, before you respond as a professional. And the profession is about getting the craft right. Um, don't overthink it, what, what, what touches you. Okay, don't overthink it yet. Also, you would encourage risk taking. What is what is the kind of risk taking? What what comes out of that? What is the what is the the, the win? And yeah. what do we do when when the risks uh, when we don't get the win? Well, we, we, we encourage risk taking because I, well, I encourage it because I believe that creativity and brilliant marketing, brilliant advertising, or whatever we call it now, um, leads to better economic value for us. So it's brilliance that I'm after, because I think only brilliance really works nowadays in, in an enormous amount of clutter, so many media, so many messages. Um, so we shoot for 10 out of 10, that's what we say. And I'd rather have a 3 out of 10 or a 2 out of 10, sometimes, that we learn from, than a steady 6 or 7. Because 6 or 7 is, is useless, actually, to us. It doesn't work. So 9 or 10 only, if you get a three, fine, let's learn from it. And I, I find that celebrating the failures is, is important. Well, what does that mean, celebrating the say, failures? Say, look, this guy gave it a good go. It's all right. And I, I will own that failure with them. I won't blame them. I'll say, look, it's my fault. Now, I'll work pretty hard to find out what we did wrong. Um, but there is a fine line between brilliance and genius, just between success and failure, I think. And it could be that that three out of ten was really a nine out of ten, but we just did it wrong. Um, so, so learning about that is, is important, not penalising people about it, and, and make sure that the thing you, don't, the thing you do penalise is mediocrity in 6 out of 10. So how do you encourage, speaking, you spoke a little bit about it, but in terms of a team, to take the, those risks? What are, what Give the, the best jobs to the people who've got a record of it. Give the best jobs to people who are excited and inspired. Celebrate their work. Um, that's, that's what I do. And if I look around some of the best jobs I've got, in my team, and whether in, in China or in Singapore or in India, um, they've gone to the people who put themselves out there, had a go. Many of us have failed. I've got plenty of failures to my name, and I talk about them. Um, but so have my team. And that's fine by me too. And we look, we'll look back and say, yeah, here's what we got out of it. But our conversations aren't all cozy. And I, don't, I don't mean this to sound like it's easy. It's not. I mean, the conversations I have with people are quite spiky, um, even with some of our agencies. Like, it is, I see what you're trying to do, and it is your decision, right? But I don't think that's good enough, and here's why. And then we'll have that, that conversation. So our debates are all about standards and not about hurt feelings, because we're all in the same tent being about that. But in the end, I'll back them. Uh, they know I'll back them, uh, right, yeah, whether it's nine or three out of 10, um, and we'll see how it goes. Right, okay, so pushing them to, 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 to take risks. Uh, yeah. uh, and 
what about unconventional storylines and storytelling? Is that is that a necessity now to, to break through the, the, the clutter? Well, it, it could be a conventional story told in an unconventional way. So no rules, okay? As long as the story is authentic and we tell it in an exciting, engaging way, I'm fine with it. Um, but. What, what I do ask for is, okay, I want to see where it's come from. I want to see a link to where we've been, but I do want to see something new each time. I do want to see us uh, making something interesting and pushing the boundaries a little bit. Because the world is changing so fast, people are getting bored with things very, very quickly. Um, we do have to be more and more interesting. Okay, excellent. So in continuity, break, something original, breaking the yeah. continuity, yeah. Uh, but building on what we've done yeah. before. Surprise us, yeah? Okay, great. Thank you very much. No, welcome.